Hello everyone, Mary here from Angels Love and Light on all social media and YouTube. And my website is www.angeliclifeguidance.com where you can find information on the readings I offer, the services I give, books I've written, um, photographs I've taken. I'm here in Ireland, beautiful photographs from here and my blog which I write in every now and again. Um, Yes, I offer readings, donation readings every now and again as well, if needs be. My cheapest reading is 14, 14 euro, so it's not too bad. And I always give more than the price, really. I like to keep going until guidance ends. Um, but contact me if you need my help and you want to swap services or you want to give a different donation so this is our monthly horoscope reading for the star sign of Gemini and before I get on to that oh first of all I'm using Doreen Virtue's goddess guidance deck for four cards and the crystal deck by octopusbooks.co.uk for the last umbrella card at the end now i was awake in bed one night and i received what i would call a download um about the month of april so i'll just read to you what i got and you can share it and um, circulate it do anything you want with it because it came through higher self and uh if we could all take it on board we'd have a lovely loving beautiful high energy month April is feel the love month. Find the love within. Feel it. Let it flow through you to every part of your body. Breathe in love. Blow out love. Send and receive love through your heart. Practice this daily. Speak your love. Write your love love yourself love others pass on the love make love your priority this month we need more love on earth and it starts with you happy love month so what i said to other signs and the card might come up again but when you're doing this practice bring the love in feel it go through you and then send it out to wherever it's needed set your intention for wherever it's needed if you have a specific place or situation you needed to go to send it there with the highest of intentions for the other persons and that situation's highest good so pass that on write it out post it i posted it on facebook and uh, i circulated it so um, if you want to do the same, off with you, it doesn't matter. You can attribute it to me if you like to spread more of the love, but uh, whatever you feel yourself. Now, four cards for Gemini, and a lot of the signs have been receiving the same cards. So we'll see how this this sign goes oh, don't fall. Yeah. two of them are the same as some other signs sacred space nematona sacred space so where is your sacred space where can you go to be calm, quiet, relax, center yourself and connect with your spiritual angels and guides. Is there a room in your house where you can light your candles and just be yourself, no telly, no radio, no phone? If that's not possible, the sea, the forest, your quiet place, um, the church, if you're that way, inclined um, a spiritual garden 
or place that you've been thinking of going or you've been before and you want to go back. Find your sacred space, connect more fully with your angels and your guides, bring the calmness, the love, all the good stuff through you and it will guide you through the month. If there is turmoil going on or uh, lower energies around you, find this sacred space and go as often as you can. Feel the feelings that you feel in the sacred space and you can practice feeling those feelings even if you're in a crowd. We can be calm with chaos all around us. It's practice. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. So deeper connection with your angels and your guides. Uh, now that can be, I don't know which one to go first. Uh, solace. Now that, the way that goddess is pronounced is our Irish for light. Solace is light, but it's spelled differently in Irish. Um, bodies of water. So our bodies are 90% water. Are you drinking your water and keeping your body hydrated? Big um, question. Also, you could find your quiet space near bodies of water. Um, the sea, rivers, lakes, streams, wherever. It, there could be emotions running but as I say you can find like she's not overrun by the water it's streaming around her you can find your your quiet place within the chaos and she looks as if she is in her power she's up high she's not afraid of the ledge she's on there she's ready for her next leap of fate because there's no step there she's gonna go and fly so connect and feel your emotions as well if you need to write them down to let them go or get a hold on them or understand them write them down speak them to the empty room you're in and um, talk to your angels and guides drink your water be beside water find your peace and be ready to take that next leap. Spend your water, such as a lake, river, or the ocean, to recharge your batteries. And when you recharge your batteries, nothing can knock you. Now, as we know, the energies have been intense, January, February, and March, really. So recharge, regroup, find your inner space, and receive your guidance for moving forward receive your guidance hater receptivity and um, you know you've been busy we'd say the first three months of the year i know a lot of us have been giving and also healing doing inner work and also you know we're told not to take on other people's stuff but sometimes some of us are here to help others and it happens out of the blue and on to us energetically and for me personally that has been happening the first three months of the year out of the blue i'm feeling feelings and i know some of them are mine but i definitely know they're too strong and i know who I'm helping with the clearing as well. Now that's deep. If you're in that situation, um, receive. You've given enough for now. It's a month of receptivity. On the physical level, be open to receiving help from others, be open to receiving gifts from others, and be open to receiving all that the universe wants to give to you because you've worked so hard it's a month of receiving now recharging your batteries looking after yourself and finding your quiet time and your quiet space and connecting more fully with spirit so 
remember you are worthy to receive as well as give. We're all healers, we're all givers, but it's our turn to receive now in this month of April, at least. Now, whatever is going on with you, I don't feel any harsh, harsh, harsh energies with the cards I've gotten so far. So whatever is going on with you, well, soft or harsh, past life. And it's very interesting that the uh, goddess Isis has the same name as stuff that's going on on Earth at the moment. Um, past life this situation involves your past life memories so if you feel like doing past life work if you have questions about what's going on in a situation even if you want to go to the world situation it um, is connected to past lives so just be aware of that that there's healing and clearing going on and do a bit of research wherever you're guided to go connect with your angels and spirit guides ask them about the situation you're talking about your feeling you're in at the moment and try and meditate do a past life meditation if you can at all and it'll bring you more answers that's all i can say to you so it's past life work your working on i would love i it's in my mind to be doing past life readings and at the moment it's just not happening but maybe it's that i have to work on during this month as well so past life um now what's coming to me as well is in past lives we met certain people and we're meeting many of them again in this life of course the situation that's going on always um includes another person a relationship situations don't happen without relationships so whatever situation relationship you are that's bringing you out of balance or that is unbalanced at the moment it's connected to a past life and now they're in this life to come be healed um, tie up loose ends clear past energies and get on with uh, the friendship the situation clear it maybe they have to leave your life um, but it has to be cleared this time around um, yeah and this will all help you to get to the root of the problem or the situation or the relationship between you and clear it and funny knowledge is great maybe just being aware of the past life connection will clear it awareness is um, strong it's a strong healer you know so that's that it's not making much sense to me at the moment but more than likely it is um, helping some of you Gemini's or all of you Gemini's even if this past life thing isn't making sense do the other you know there may be something that you were working on in a past life in your healing profession that you need to bring forward into this life now and your angels and guides are um, calling you to connect more deeply to bring you to your next step of healing and learning and your talents bringing your gifts and talents out further Okay. Yeah, I don't want the colours of those cards. What I'll do is just split them. Is what I'm feeling. Okay. We have a greeny coloured one. Uh, a puff light. A puff light comes in white, yellow, clear, peach or green. It's easily obtained. Keywords, release, 
attunement and astral travel. So at night time you're, you're being helped as well and you're being brought to teaching and remembering your gifts as well and maybe being brought to past lives but I know people that have been brought, brought to um, their spirit work you know in their nighttime astral travel they're doing their spiritual work as their soul you know they're not in their physical body and um, this is one of the more uncommon crystals used in Reiki work as a powerful tool for tuning into the higher realms and linking the physical and spiritual Drawing this crystal indicates that it is time to let go of whatever is holding you back or down. The past life stuff. Past present life stuff. If there's anything from childhood, teens, marriages, work relationships, anything that's holding you back from the past, from walking forward that happened in the past in this life, work on it let it go because it does stick at our energy and hold us back and then it helps it brings thoughts into our minds that hold us back as well like we've got to see the new we've got to see from our soul rather than the old ego thinking and what happened in the past and how it affected us and we've got to evolve and become new and leave the past in the past it happened heal it move forward it's the best for everybody and as i say if it's from a past life relationship if people were in your past lives um it's best to try and get it healed this time because i personally am not coming back i want to tie up all loose ends and past lives and then please god when i go uh, reassess the situation and uh, make sure all the major stuff is done and then I can decide if I'm coming back or staying in spirit <laughs> very um how would you say work stuff mission stuff determination to do it get it done right gone off on a tangent drawing this card indicates that it is time to let go of whatever is holding you back or down consider your life carefully what can you let go in order to move onwards and upwards towards your potential onwards and upwards my book and i'm working on another one as we speak onwards and upwards is here sitting waiting to be finished so i've got to focus on that this month whatever about you gemini's you know what you've got to focus on um, trigger words there and trigger whatever I've said already. Apophyllite. That's how you spell it. It says it's easily obtained and in the first line here it said it's more of the uncommon crystals. It promotes truth including the ability to see oneself and one situation clearly. In facilitating past life connections, wow, connected to that card. In facilitating past life connections, it can bring about the release of long held and suppressed emotions. Its connective properties help to ground and soothe this often necessary growth, which will ultimately lead us to feeling calmer and more grounded. It promotes acceptance of incarnation. Brilliant. I mean, I haven't read that card and all I've been speaking about very deep reading there for Gemini this month so let me know if you're working on anything like that uh, it'd be great to hear and uh, love and light and have a great month and remember our opening message love so love and light talk to you during the week please God <laughs>